Superbooth 2019 at Rune from Electrophone. How are yeah. you? I'm fine. How are you? You yeah. must be exhausted. Yeah, well, likewise, you've had to try and keep a card, card generating set of modules not, in tune. Not easy, not easy. At a trade show, which isn't Everyone's easy. like, woo! Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, I think tuning goes out of the window even with one oscillator. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I've had the pleasure from last year of seeing this product come to life, yeah. getting the knobs just right, the colours, the attention to detail through yeah. the years has been amazing. And this is nearly ready, right? It is ready. I'm shipping, uh, when I get back from Berlin, I'm shipping. Amazing, so can we check it out? Can yeah. Can what the module is? Please. So this is it. I, I showed the uh, the prototype last year, of course, and you saw that. But this is a finished deal. So uh, it, it's the same as last year, of course. But uh, for those who didn't um, see that video, this is a chord uh, module, like a, um, a polyphonic controller. And you can think of it like a chord sequencer. So you can have up to 99 chords in a chord sequence and you can step through them uh, whichever way you like. So right now I have, um, let's pause it, I have uh, four chords in a chord progression and I can browse them with the browse button and I'm always in edit mode so whatever I do now, what you see is what you get. Yeah. There's no menus or loading or saving or anything. Yeah, it's a really beautiful interface. And each, um, each colored button represents one note in the chord. So the gray button controls the gray dial, and the gray dial goes out to the gray output. And its output goes to your oscillator of choice, and that yeah. creates the sound, yeah. So it's a controller, it's not a sound source. Yeah. yeah just such a really nice interface to work with. In terms of working through the saved chords, is this just triggering through the chord sequence? Can you go... Uh, backwards, is it CV addressable? Yeah, yeah. you can go uh, backwards or forwards. This is actually the, the trigger input, which uh, triggers the chord change. And this is the direction CV input. So if you feed that a control voltage, it, you can make it go backwards by uh, feeding it a, a negative voltage. Yep. And you can go forwards by feeding it a positive voltage. So there's lots of interesting patches, I think, to have with a sequencer or a step random source. Yeah. But having defined musical chords, yeah. you can randomly or very intentionally shift through. Yep, that's right. And that's the whole point. I just wanted I wanted this myself. I needed it. So I wanted just to... How, how simple can you make uh, four voice chords in your rack like, and not make it a huge module? Like make it as small as possible and not cramped for your fingers. Like there's a huge amount of space there for, for interaction. It's not cramped. But it's only 14 HP and I think that's... Uh, that's very small for what it does. It's like having uh, 40 or 50 uh, pressure points with one extra channel and everything being quantized. <laughs> yeah. Th that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. So what's the price for people that are wanting this? Like you said, this is out now or shipping when you're back from Superboo? Yeah, it's uh, 320 euros. Okay. Uh, Directly through your website? No, I'm going to distribute to, to stores. So stores like Schneiderschladen and Control in New York and around the world, yeah. I suggest people sign up to your newsletter. It's been really great to see the development in this Thank and the posts along the way. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, I'm really glad to see it out. It's really beautiful. Thank you. So thank you. And uh, I have this uh, this prototype to show you. This yeah, with this blew us away as well. <laughs> Philips Hue interface for your Iraq, right? Absolutely, for the nerds, you know. <laughs> so this is just a proof of concept. I wanted to um, to get a handle of if, if it was possible at all to do this. And this is, um, right now it's just two CV inputs, one controlling uh, luminescence and one controlling color. And you can feed any control voltage you want and control uh, the Philips Hue uh, wireless system. So my sign there is actually a Philips Hue uh, RGB strip and I can control that with, uh, with peaks. I have two, uh, two LFOs going here. I love the idea of the whole house being set up with Philips Hue and you know, exactly. your friend, family, exactly. partners, Kind of shouting down, change the patch! I'm trying to do this in the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't really know how peaks works. It's like magic, 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 and magic. But we've got control voltage controlling hue and saturation, as you say. Yeah, and lightness. And the plan is to have eight or sixteen inputs and a web interface that you can access with your tablet or your phone, and then control what each input does. So you can control groups of lights or single lights. 
and it's um, supposed to be very easy to use and a small module for your for your synth. So for those interested in the Philips Hue interface, is the best thing for them to do to sign up to your newsletter? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or follow me on Instagram. I'm 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 probably posting there first because it's the easiest way to communicate. Great. So uh, yeah. Well, we can link all that in the description. And thanks, it's great to see the module out. I'd really like to see the Hue interface as well. Me too. I I'll need be, it. I need it. <laughs> great. Well, thank you. Thank you.